in the last video you have learned how you can create conditional formatting now we are learning one more technique this time we will learn how we can highlight the top 10 top 5 top 6 values or bottom 10 5 it may be on percentage basis it may be on average basis it can be on values basis so let us start how we will highlight the cells first put the cursor on the pivot table then come to the home tab and come to the conditional formatting click on that and this time we will select the second option top or bottom rules now you can see there are lots of options are available we will discuss one by one as the name suggests top 10 items it will highlight the top 10 items top 10 percentage values will be highlighted then bottom 10 items then bottom 10 percentage items you can also highlight the average above average values or the below average values so let us start by clicking on top 10 items you will get top 10 items dialog box first option is we need to define the number of uh, items from the top rank so by default it's a uh, 10 uh, you can increase or you can decrease these values so this time we are selecting only three so we want to select only top three uh, values and on the right hand side you can see the by default uh, format a uh, light red field with a uh, dark red text you can change it or some more options are available for the formatting you can select by default or you can select custom format you will get format cell dialog box you can fill the color you can border it you can uh, change the formatting of the font and you can select the format of the number so now we will fill the color uh, with the yellow and the font color would be white and it should be bold and italic and border we can highlight the border as well so the color would be this time we will select the red one and it should be like that and click on ok button then click on top then click on ok button again and now you can see uh, our selected cell is highlighted because this uh, conditional format applied only to this cell now we are getting one more option on the right hand side it's very uh, small so just look carefully and click on that you will get three options we have already discussed that uh, by default it is selected cell whenever we apply the conditional formatting this time uh, we are not going to select uh, the second one because it will apply on the whole table that include grand totals because grand totals always has a greater values as compared to the data so we will select the third one and you can see the first top three values are coming here and they are highlighted so this is the first thing and now we can clear it by undo or you can clear the formatting from here also clear uh, rules uh, you can clear uh, you can clear the rules from selected cells clear rules from the entire sheet or click here to clear rules from the from this pivot table only so now again we will select the percentage basis option top 10 percentage and this time uh, first of all we will cancel it this time we will select our table because we know the range of the data in the pivot table now come to the conditional formatting from the home tab and click on the top 10 percentage now you can enter the percentage for example we want uh, but this time we will select this range only because by mistake I selected the date uh, so we will start again and I will select the percentage basis now this time I will increase the percentage to 25 and I will not change the format as well I will select the by default format and now I'm clicking OK I got the values which are more than 25 percent 
okay friend so now you can clear it clear the rules the entire sheet and this time we will use above average or the below average but before that I will select the range as well right now now I'm selecting the range come to the home tab click on the conditional formatting come to the top bottom rules and select above average this time also I will uh, select default format and click OK and you got your conditional formatting so this is a very good option to highlight the values